What's up guys, we're here at AMC Town Square with Chasing Cinema, Mr. Gene Shoot. Dot com. And How are you, Zach? A lot of movies tonight. A lot of movies. If five. you haven't seen our video for Hunger Games, the last one ever, it's already up online right now. Right there. There's a white dot with an eye in it, right up here in the corner. We're also make doing, sure to click it. We're also doing a uh, secret before our eyes right now. Yes. We're doing the new film starring Nicole Kidman, Julia Roberts, and Teresa Edgefort. Teresa Edgefort. And Chil 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 this so movie thriller looks freaking fan freaking tastic to me. Yes. Well, for, uh, Give those, me Jack. those who, who have done their research, they would know that actually the question in their eyes is the original Argentinian novel that came out in 2005. Did not know that. In 2009, the film was adapted into an Argentinian film that won Did best. Did not know that. That won best foreign film at the Academy Awards. So this is the third time this film has been. Well, second time this film has been adapted. Uh, or the story's been adapted. But you have a cast like that, uh, two Academy Award winners and Academy Award nominee. This movie looks phenomenal. Yes. It's a thriller. I know Alfred Molina, who is a favorite of mine, is also going to be joining the cast. It looks like a very dark and sinister film that I'm very excited to see. These films remind me of like Prisoners with Hugh Jackman. It rem that's high, it rem a very this dark, type, gritty yes. thriller. And I love the dark, gritty thrillers. Yeah, and, and the story looks really, really interesting too. Uh, I unfortunately never saw the Argentinian film. <laughs> That one best foreign picture, so I can't really compare. I want to see it now. But I, I, I do, I do do as well. So I, I would like to watch that movie now. Um, but let's go check it out. It's How long is the movie? It's about two hours. So two hours. You know, I, I'm expecting something amazing. I expect something to have my heart beating out of my chest, similar to Room and other films that we talked about today. So let's see if I can figure out what the secret in their eyes really is. Ooh. Alright guys, so we just got out of Hunger Games for me. If you haven't seen our review, it's already online. However, this is all eye. about the secret. In their eyes. Um, wow. So, this movie is one of those films. I'm gonna bring us back to a movie that me and you reviewed some time ago. I can't even remember when. It was called The Counselor. Had all these ingredients. Oh, no. <laughs> has all these ingredients that should work. Like Penelope magic. Cruz. Woo. Brad Pitt, uh, Javier Bardem, Penelope Cruz, Michael Fassbender, Woo. great cast, great writers. Penelope Cruz. Um, and this movie was just the same. But everything in this movie is ingredient wise correct, but fails on a storytelling level. Um, the problem is, is that it's boring, it's uninteresting. And that's the worst thing you could have in a movie that's deemed a thriller. Now, everyone is. I, I, well, Nicole Kidman, I find, was really miscast in this movie. She never really fit in for me. I never really bought. Like, the whole movie, you're expecting to focus on this mystery, but a lot of it, actually, like, like the, the, uh, the fat of the movie, like all the middle, is really the relationship. Like that pork she, belly fat. Yeah. Is between Chiwetel Ejiofor and Nicole Kidman. They're like love relationship that they kind of have, and it has, like, really drawn out. Not season. Julia and the Dead Kid? No, it, it, that becomes like, at one point in the movie, that becomes like a sidebar to this relationship that's boring and everything they have is just like, they have no chemistry, I don't believe what's going on, like I just can't buy the relationship, let alone Nicole Kidman in this character. Julia, uh, Julia Roberts is great in that opening, well not opening scene, but the early scene when she is revealed this, this horrible thing. In it the is, trailer. It is soul crushing, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, it, it made me cry. I mean, it hurt. It hit me right in the soul. Oh, so you thought it was gonna be great? This movie. I, it, it's like five, seven minutes in, and that is the last time I had emotional response to this movie. So I was really, really disappointed. She's good at, at throughout the rest of the movie, but no one brings anything powerful to this movie. Uh, Hank from Breaking Bad. Uh, is also in this movie. I can't Ooh, think I like him. Yeah, I do too. I love everything that he's in. Um, I can't think about the top of my head. He was okay in the movie. Everyone was just okay. Um, I think the problem is that this movie doesn't really worry about its characters. It's just kind of following the formula of the, the Argentinian film and the book and not worried about bringing anything new or, or doing anything really interesting with it. Um, on the most basic level, it's... <sighs> I was really not a fan. I was really disappointed in this movie. Um, and then, you know, comes the climax, the ending, the, the resolution that we've been fighting for for two hours, well, not really. No spoilers. Uh, but two hours, no spoilers. And that and this twist, and it's like, yeah, okay, like, what? All right. It just had no no emotional effect. I walked out of the movie feeling blah, feeling bland. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't able to really have any emotional reaction to the movie, except I would say for the first 10 minutes. There's one really, really great action piece in a baseball stadium, but beyond that, the rest of the movie I can remember is just boring. As I was walking out of the theater, taking my notes as I usually do, so I could uh, do a, write a good review and, and, and do a, a great video for you guys, 
I was already forgetting pieces of the movie. I remember three distinct pieces. That baseball set piece, the ending, and this. And one of those was really disappointed. And one of them, the other one only lasts 30 seconds, so it doesn't say much. Really you know what? It happens. But chasingcinema.com slash Secret in their eyes. <laughs> there you get the full on review. Yes. Written by Jacob R. Toronto. Myself. Matthew, yes. By me. the way, FYI. You can also watch all of our other reviews and read the reviews all up here in that eye. We have Hunger Games. Spotlight. Secret in the eyes. Room. Spotlight. Room. And uh, the night before, which is a YouTube exclusive. Only my YouTube subscribers are going to be able to see that. That's five mo movies. Five movies. We're not here to play games, people. I'm not. And guess what? I'm coming back here on for, Tuesday for in five days. Three or four other movies. Creed, Good Dinosaur, Trumbo, and I want to say there's one more, but I can't remember right now. By the way, yes. So make sure to reserve your tickets. Um, a lot of great things I've been hearing about both of those films, Dinosaur and Creed. Uh, so I'm excited. Well, Dinosaur, you introduced me just personally to the art director of the film. Yes, and that's uh, online also. Mr. Rob Thompson, I had the opportunity to sit down and talk to him personally, one on one, um, and that was the Chase and Cinema exclusive. Yes, the Chase and Cinema By YouTube the way. exclusive. It's, it's true. It was, it was. I was very lucky to have that opportunity. Uh, very great. If you want to see that again in the description or in that eye, uh, but I was able to see and you as well a few of those clips, and I'm really pumped up for that movie. That's going to be the movie that I that's, think is going to surprise. That, that stick in the sand scene. Oh. Woo! Ah, right in the right in the heart. What Pixar does best. Yes. Absolutely. I'm pumped up. I didn't think they'd be able to top inside out. From what I've seen, I now think it could happen. From what I'm hearing from people I respect in this film world, yes. the internets, if you will, yes. they're loving it. I'm excited. <coughs> Alright. Creed as well. Creed has been getting really good movies. I'm excited. I'm a big Rocky Balboa fan. Mm. Um, you know, I, I grew up watching Rockies with my family. I think most people did. We all know that underdog story. But we all also know that they've watered down the, the series as it has gone into it's now six installment. Yeah. <laughs> so but I'm hoping Creed's good. I think it's a great opportunity for Michael B. Jordan to kind of really show what he has to offer. So he can show people he's actually Michael Jordan. That's true. So plus Apollo Creed is my favorite part about the Rockies. Movies anyway. And hopefully Apollo Creed doesn't turn into Apollo 13. <laughs> you mean the... A disaster? <laughs> oh, I thought you meant the movie. Well, the movie yeah, it's about great. a disaster. Yeah, but it's a great movie. No, but Apollo 13 is a disaster. Yeah, let's hope that doesn't So happen. hopefully Apollo doesn't turn into Apollo 13. Well, Apollo already had his moment, you know. Like and follow this video, subscribe for more adventures of Chasing Cinema and myself. Yes, make sure to tune in for all those reviews. The best way never to miss one of those is hit that subscribe button. Do it now. I know you love me and this, uh, this, this gorgeous looking Asian man right next to me. Pick that thumbs up for me and I will greatly appreciate it.